let's get a little bit closer let's go wide and now let's focus this is the Nikon 28 to 75 mm f2.8 for the Z-mount full frame systems let's talk about it in this video Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Photorabs. I do videos about photography, filmmaking, camera tech related videos, unboxing, action cams, vlogging kits. If you are interested in these topics, I highly appreciate if you go subscribe to my channel. That's a massive help. And now let's go back to the video. This is the Nikon 28 to 75mm f2.8 for the Nikon Z mount full frame systems that I bought a few months ago to replace my Tamron 24 to 70 f2.8 G2 lens that I really love. So if you are in the market to buy such standard zoom, I highly appreciate appreciate if you watch this video till the end. It's a full frame lens having a maximum aperture of f2.8, a great silent and reliable autofocus system, a magnification ratio of 0.34x at the minimum focusing distance of 19 centimeters. It has a filter thread on the front element of 67 millimeters. It feels plastic though to reduce the weight of the barrel of this lens, but I can assure you it's not the cheap plastic. It has the same optical and mechanical configuration as the Tamron 28 to 75 mm f2.8 for the Sony E-mount system. So I believe there is a partnership between Nikon and Tamron for this lens, as well as for the 17 to 28 millimeters f2.8. As I said in the beginning of this video I bought this lens to replace the Tamron 24-70 f2.8 G2 lens that I really love. The main reason was that the Tamron was very heavy 905 grams for the lens and if I want to make it work on this Nikon Z6 II I have to add this FTZ adapter so the total weight of the lens with the adapter will be a little bit more than one kilogram and that was really heavy. This lens weighs 565 grams only 28 to 75 millimeters but we don't have optical stabilization on this lens that's something that you have to be aware of while this Nikon Z6 II has great in-body image stabilization so I don't need really the optical stabilization of the Tamron 24 to 70 mm that's why I got this one a cheaper solution a very lightweight comparing to the Tamron lens and it does the job great without any problems without any issues so that's why I decided in this video to talk about this lens after several months of using it so if you want to buy such lenses you can refer to this video to see whether this lens suits you or not a standard zoom lens is a must-have for your backpack whether you are a photographer or a videographer I use this lens a lot for my wedding photography for my event photography and for my group photography now I switch to this 28 to 75 millimeters for the group photo I use it also when I'm doing some photography indoors and I don't know the space that I have and I cannot carry with me lots of prime lenses because yes, I prefer shooting with prime lenses rather than standard zoom lenses but this one is lightweight, you can put it in your backpack you never know when you can use it, when you will have to use it it's really lightweight, it doesn't take much place I'm really satisfied with the image quality of this lens, the sharpness, the clarity, the colors, everything in this lens is amazing. The bokeh of this lens is great. At f2.8, you have creamy background that I really appreciate when I'm doing some portrait photography as well with this lens for my wedding photography, for example. The 28 millimeters of this lens are not very wide comparing to the 24 on the 24 to 70, of course and the 75 millimeters is not that significant comparing to the 70 millimeters that's my honest opinion about it you might say why you didn't bought the 24 to 70 f4 for the nikon system if you are searching for some lightweight lenses well the main reason is that this one with the aperture of f2.8 gives you lots of creamy background very soft background with great bokeh that i really love for my wedding photography the f4 does not give me that feel to my images that's the main reason to pick this one over the 24 to 70 f4.0 from nikon i could have got also the 24 to 70 f2.8 but it was more than double the price of this lens this one was about 1000 euros the 24 to 70 f2.8 was about maybe 2500 euros or something like that so i decided why not getting this one and then getting the 17 to 28 both they will be cheaper than the 24 to 70 f2.8 for the nikon z mount system and i have larger uh, focal lens from 17 to 75 mil that will be really the ultimate setup for me as a wedding photographer 
I still haven't bought the 17 to 28 mm Nikon lens, but when I tried them side by side, they share the same filter thread, 67 mm. That's amazing if I want to swap filters between one lens and another. They have more or less the same body composition, the same length and the same weight. So if I'm filming some brushes with the Nikon Z6 II on a gimbal, I can easily swap lenses to go from 28 to 75 to the 17 till 28 millimeters easily without rebalancing and without spending much time rebalancing the gimbal between these two lenses. That's a great feature that I found on this new generation of lens from Nikon. That was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it. Don't forget to check my affiliate links in the description below and put some thumbs up under this video. That helps the channel a lot. And thank you for watching.